Hi, welcome to Vitamin Junkies. I'm Jennifer Lyle. I'm Dr. JJ. And we're addicted to good health. Today we're going to be talking about depression. But before we get to that, let's see what Dr. JJ is taking today. Okay, so today in our uh, razzle dazzle uh, vitamin taking session, um, I am taking a B complex. Um, I find uh, for mood, um, for both female and male patients, I find a B vitamin uh, tends to help a lot, uh, particularly because of its vitamin 6 content. Uh, I suppose you could take vitamin 6 on its own, but I usually like to give uh, all the B vitamins together because usually if there's a deficiency in one B vitamin, it's common to see deficiencies in other ones. So a high potency B complex. Um, what's very interesting about vitamin B6 is that vitamin B6 is a cofactor in serotonin formation. So I find for mood, this helps a lot uh, for depression and also for anxiety. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I've also oh. taken B6 to help with the adrenal support too. Mm. I suppose Let's that stress. can help also. It's usually more B5 for adrenal oh, support. Sorry, not B6, just a B complex. Yeah, yeah, that would help. It's more the B5, but yeah, you get the blend of them and the B2 also. Mm -hmm. Very good. Awesome. Wee oui, wee. Oui. That's why you see a professional yes, 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 and not French. just. Uh, and not just an amateur to find out what to take. In any case, let's move on to what move is on. depression. <laughs> depression. Um, all right, so um, depression is a prolonged period of sadness. Um, there's um, uh, basically different grades of depression. There's mild depression, there's moderate depression, and there's severe depression. So it varies in degrees of severity. Um, obviously, severe depression is usually someone who's, um, in some cases, near catatonic, possibly suicidal. Um, so these are these are very serious conditions, um, and depression is a very serious condition. It is very common. Uh, so it could be situational. Um, also, it could be timing of the year. Also, people with seasonal affective disorder, which tend to have, have the blues, the winter blues, as we say, um, that is another form of depression too. Wow, what mm -hmm. causes it? Um, uh, there's a genetic association. Um, stress could definitely be a cause of depression. Uh, situational may be a big cause of depression. Uh, you've just broken up with your partner, you lost your job, you have financial issues, you're super stressed, uh, body image, um, you know, the, 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 there's, there's a long history. Um, nutrition also, um, lack of exercise, poor sleep. Um, there's a number of reasons that could be promoting your uh, depression. Wow. Yeah, yeah. What can people do to prevent depression? Uh, well, there's a number of things they could do. Like, for example, if there's if there's a situational issue, then, you know, for example, if you lose your husband or you lose your parent, then it's normal to feel sad. It's when this is prolonged. So um, there's a number of things they could do. Definitely there's therapy. Uh, anybody who comes in for any type of mental health condition that I see uh, as a patient here should always be undergoing therapy, and I stress that they should be undergoing therapy, particularly uh, for depression. Um, so if there's issues that are bugging you, definitely you should work through them. A lot of people just take their issues and then just put it in the closet and put it in the closet and you know, et cetera. And eventually the closet fills up and it catches up to you. Mm. So, um, so you want you you want to you want to work through that. Um, exercise, a uh, great way of actually helping to treat uh, depression. Yeah. Um, watching the types of food you eat, so having more of a healthy diet. Because if you're already being brought down by mental emotional issues, the last thing you need to do is to be brought down by by the types of foods you eat. Uh, lifestyle also. If people are, 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 um, are chronically depressed, then they may be relying on um, substances to keep themselves motivated. So you may be abusing caffeine, you may be abusing nicotine, you may even be abusing recreational drugs. So would all those things that you've just mentioned for preventing it, would that also be the approaches that you'd be encouraging to help treat depression? Uh, therapy, definitely at the top of the list. Um, drugs too. Um, uh, in many cases, patients will be taking different forms of medication. Uh, in case of a major case of depression, someone should always be medicated. Definitely therapy and medication for someone who has a major case of depression, a severe case of depression. For mild to moderate depression, um, some people will just try to work through it through therapy or may exercise their way through it or take vitamins through it. So vitamins and minerals, you could definitely work your way through for mild to moderate depression. Severe depression should always be medicated. And on the drug side, there's the SSRIs. So these are the selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. So these would be things like Paxil, Effexor, Prozac. A lot of people have heard of these drugs. Or MOAI, so monoamine uh, oxidase inhibitors. These are also medications you could get. Um, on the natural side of things, I mentioned vitamin B6, which is a cofactor in serotonin production. 
Um, another common one is St. John's wort. Um, so that one's very good um, at helping with mild to moderate uh, depression. So there's some good studies on uh, St. John's wort. Um, also 5-HTP, so 5-hydroxytryptophan. This is a precursor to uh, serotonin. So there's some interesting studies on that with helping, uh, helping with mood. And fish oils, did you already mention that? Yes, yes, no, sorry, I, I didn't mention fish oils, yeah. Fish oils, some very good studies with taking high dose fish oils with depression. So some very powerful studies out there with fish oils. Awesome. Mm, very interesting. Yeah. So you've given us a, a good overview of depression, mm -hmm. what to do to prevent it, what to do to treat it. And one more thing, vitamin D, particularly oh, if it's seasonal affective yes, disorder, okay. of course, vitamin D, right? We can't forget that. And sunlight exposure too, if they're sad, yeah. Very good mm -hmm. therapy. Um, and social, would social aspects impact that at all? Uh, well, obviously, if someone is on their own all the time and, and they're not uh, really interacting with people, then yeah, definitely having a strong, solid social network allows to the person to usually be happier if they're on their own. And yeah, it's, I wouldn't be surprised if they would be end up with a lot of depression. So yeah, that's, uh, that's important. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've looked at what depression is, mm -hmm. how to prevent it, and how to treat it naturally. And mm -hmm. you mentioned some um, drugs you can take. Can you do both um, natural approaches combined with drugs? I guess you need to talk through that with a practitioner. Yeah, you, you can, and it's quite common. Like, for example, you could do a B-complex with an SSRI. That's not an issue. Um, also, too, with certain medication, what we found is that when a patient takes chromium, with an SSRI, it actually improves the effectiveness of the SSRI, which is wow. interesting. Yeah, so there's been some interesting studies on that. Uh, but when you're combining drugs and a natural health product, it's always best to be followed by a naturopathic doctor, just if someone really oversee your case to make sure you're taking the right things. Um, also, with respect to St. John's wort, you have to be careful with St. John's wort because St. John's wort could interact with some of, uh, some of the medications you're taking. So always mm -hmm. best to check with a naturopathic doctor before you take that. So. Very good. Mm -hmm. And if you'd like to find a naturopath in your community, click on the Finder Practitioner link on our website, vitaminjunkies.com. And while you're there, don't forget to join the addiction so you can get an alert every time we release a new episode of Vitamin Junkies. Perfect. And while you're there, please fill out our survey. We want to hear what type of topics you want us to talk about. And when you complete our survey, you could win a chance to get a $100 gift certificate uh, from Hey Jute, a gift bag from Hey Jute. Full of all sorts of cool stuff. Cool stuff. Thank you so much for joining us today. I'm Jennifer Lyle. I'm Dr. JJ. And let's continue the addiction to good health. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do.